This video, or audio track, contains powerful hypnotic suggestions and language patterns that can induce drowsiness. So please do not watch or listen while driving any type of vehicle, operating machinery or equipment of any kind, or if you are in any place or situation where it is not safe for you to deeply relax or fall asleep. Only listen when you can safely devote your full and undivided attention to your complete relaxation. Why is it that some golfers are always able to perform at their very best in competition, while you struggle to find your game when it really matters? How is it that some golfers are able to play without any trace of fear, while nerves always seem to get the better of you and constantly cause you to underperform? Why do players with much lesser natural skill and ability comfortably and consistently outscore you while you throw away shots or come up short through poor decision making, lack of self-belief or a lack of commitment? Or quite simply, after playing golf for many years and having had many lessons, why are you still stuck on the same handicap and struggle to make any meaningful, significant improvement? Hi there, this is Nick. And if any of those aforementioned scenarios sound at all familiar, it is highly likely that you will find this guided meditation and self-hypnosis session especially useful. This session combines elements of the very latest neuroscience, neuro-linguistic programming, solution-focused hypnotherapy, and practical, real-life processes used by leading PGA Tour professionals to help you eliminate limiting beliefs, improve your confidence, enhance your golfing techniques, and achieve your short, and long-term performance goals. Whether that's breaking 100 for the first time, shooting your lowest ever score, or winning a monthly medal, your club championship, or even landing your first major. You can also listen to this audio track as often as you want. In fact, I highly recommend you listen to this session several times a week in order to be able to work on different elements of your game as well as to reinforce some of the positive visualisation and suggestion work it contains. And you don't need to worry either that my words will become ineffective or stale once you've heard them several times or more. Since hypnosis provides the impetus for positive behavioural change, a different you will be listening to this track each time. And so each time you listen in, your subconscious mind will tune in and act on something different. In listening to this audio session, you are among the few golfers who understand that alongside your physical coaching and practice, engaging your mind in proactive and positive visualization at a conscious and subconscious level is a foundation of playing great golf and continual improvement. While a clear intellectual mind, free from negative thoughts, will enhance your game management and your on-course decision-making and strategy. After all, many famous golfers, including the legendary Jack Nicklaus, have said that golf is a sport that is mainly played in the six inches between the ears. 
the mind. And I should also point out that this hypnotherapy session is not designed to replace or supersede any of your existing coaching and game improvement relationships and processes, but instead to work seamlessly alongside them so that you maximize the benefit from any lessons you may be taking or any coaching plan you may be following. This session is structured to help implement immediate improvements to your game in five key areas. One, the first is that it will help you develop a more positive mindset. One where you approach each round with the expectation that you will play well, rather than worrying or fearing that you will play badly. Two, you will develop a more resourceful and analytical approach to your golf, so you will more easily be able to identify areas for improvement and the required solutions. Many leading athletes refer to this process as pursuing marginal gains. Three, you will be able to overcome problem shots in your game by improving your technique and building your confidence. Four, you will be able to eliminate the negative self-talk and negative visualization that often leads to a lack of confidence and inhibited, fearful play. Five, and the final benefit is that adopting a more rational, clear-headed and positive approach to the game will result in better on-course strategy, shot selection and decision-making. In short, this session has been created with the specific intention of helping you access and put to full use all of your powerful, creative and inventive conscious and subconscious resources to play your very best golf. Resources that, for some reason or another, may have been forgotten, unused, or even overwritten completely by negative and damaging self-talk and visualization. And I'd like you to know that in taking these positive first steps and in taking ownership of your performance and laying the foundations for playing to your full potential, you are already ahead of the vast majority of your fellow golf competitors. Because, in reality, so few golfers, athletes or sports people ever fully commit themselves to being the best they can possibly be. And as any successful athlete will tell you, optimizing your own performance really is the ultimate goal in sport. You can, after all, only control what you can control. Now before we begin and embark on your journey towards becoming a more accomplished all-round golfer, take a few moments now to get yourself relaxed and nicely comfortable. I recommend that you listen while sitting in an armchair if possible or upright in your bed so that you avoid drifting off to sleep too quickly. So now, just settle into the position where you find yourself the most relaxed, the most calm and the most at ease. You can wriggle around a little if you wish until you come across that just right position where your head nestles into that soft, inviting pillow. All the while knowing 
that those cushions can comfortably support your full body weight as you start your journey towards playing your very best golf over the coming while. And while you're there, continuing to get comfortable and making those final adjustments, please remember that all hypnosis is actually self-hypnosis. Because hypnosis is not a process that can be done to you or something that can be imposed upon you against your will. By choosing freely to engage in this guided meditation or trance session, you can be confident that you will be in full control of the session at all times. And that if you decide you want to stop, for whatever reason, you can simply choose to open your eyes at any time and you will be fully awake and alert, ready to carry on with the rest of your day. And because of this, I would like you to consider and remember also that this journey of self-discovery and of self-improvement is very much all yours and yours alone to make. My voice here now is merely a conversational, friendly guide that will help you navigate your own personal, deep trance experience. A journey where you will find all the keys to all the doors you will ever need to unlock to access the same powerful inner resources that the world's top golfers leverage to maximize their potential and for you to achieve the performances and scores you know you are capable of producing. Because the true wonder of success in sports as it is in business is that if you genuinely desire it expect it and most importantly give yourself the internal permission to believe it and allow it your subconscious mind will do everything within its vast powers to help you achieve everything you want and now while you ponder that thought and as you lay there on your couch or on your bed already finding yourself becoming calmer and calmer and going deeper and deeper. Just allow your conscious mind to switch off from everyday thoughts and to just quieten and prepare yourself for a journey that will presently bring so much positive change and improvement to your golf and in turn your enjoyment of the game you love. If you haven't done so already, you can go ahead and lightly close your eyes, whenever it suits you. You can close them now, or if you prefer, in a few moments, when your eyelids start to feel heavy, or simply when the time feels right to you. Just continue to relax in your own time and in the way that best brings you that sense of tranquility and inner peace. And as you continue to listen only to my voice, it really is perfectly fine to remain aware of what is going on around you. You might still be conscious, for example, of the light buzz of distant traffic, of voices in another room, the wind swirling around the treetops, or of the laughter from children playing happily outside. 
None of these things need disturb or distract you. For while you enjoy this personal time, priming your innermost thoughts for your future success, it is reassuring to know that you are right where you want to be and that life is continuing as normal around you. If anything, these safe, homely and familiar sounds will bring you even more comfort and help further deepen your trance experience. As you settle back now in your chair or in your bed and you start to become calmer and calmer and sleepier and sleepier. You might be wondering how it can be that your eyelids already feel so, so heavy. Like they're being drawn together by some unstoppable, invisible force or a pair of powerful, giant super magnets just wanting to close now. And don't worry either if you find that every so often you lose track of my words. With practice and with repetition over time your conscious mind will learn to quieten of its own accord as you listen to my voice. But for now, if or when any distracting thoughts arrive, you can simply swish them away, just as you would clear a pile of fallen old leaves with a casual flick of your sandwich. And rest assured, the part of you that is always silently aware and that never, ever truly switches off will be listening and paying full attention. Now as you sit or lie there with your eyes closed, I'd like you to bring your attention to your breathing and in particular that gentle rising and falling of your chest. With each long, slow, lazy breath in and each long, slow, lazy breath out. And as my voice just continues to wash over you now, just think about that rhythm becoming calmer and calmer and calmer. Your heartbeat slowing as your conscious mind frees itself from the outside world and gently retreats into the delightful serenity of your inner self. And so, as you inhale and exhale, just allow your breathing to naturally and instinctively fall into a pattern that feels just right for you. Neither too fast, nor too slow. And while you're doing that, as you become more and more relaxed, you might just find yourself thinking about how calming, how powerful, and how reassuring it is to know that simply controlling your breathing like this allows your body, your conscious mind, and your subconscious mind to come together as one. All of your powerful resources, mental and physical, fully aligned now, primed and ready to start transforming your golf game. Going deeper and deeper now. Doubling 
and even tripling your relaxation with every word I speak. And as you find yourself moving closer and closer towards that blurred and sometimes surreal and dreamy boundary between conscious, rational thought and the random, deep expanses of your subconscious. Not quite asleep, but not quite awake. You might also be thinking just how easy it has been for you to quieten your mind and for you to become so calm and so focused. And know that this is a treat you can give yourself at any time and in any place in the future. And one of the most enjoyable and pleasurable elements of hypnosis is that it takes only your imagination to continually deepen your sense of relaxation. As your mind further quietens and begins to distance itself from everyday thoughts, you bypass all of the negativity and fear that prevents you from fulfilling your true potential. And you clear the pathway into your subconscious. And that is a journey that can be as deep as you really want it to be. Maybe like a deep sea diver being slowly lowered on a chain to the ocean floor. Or maybe it's like standing on a slow moving downward escalator. A smooth ride where you descend deeper and deeper into a new world soaking up all of the peace and tranquility around you as you discover the treasure that lies below. And while you're immersed in this resourceful state, and as you continue to go deeper and deeper, there simply is no place within you for any kind of negativity now. So in your mind's eye, just use those immense powers of your imagination once more to picture any stress, any anxiety, any frustration, and any self-doubt rising out of your body. All of that negative energy, all of those negative limiting beliefs, images, feelings, all of that destructive self-talk floating away into the distance out of your body out of your room and up far, far and away and as all of that negative and harmful energy fades away I'd like you now to imagine it being replaced almost instantly with a soothing, warm, golden ball of light that flows into your body through the top of your head. And you already know that this soft, soothing glow will feel so, so good as it moves throughout your body and that it will send you into even deeper and deeper relaxation along the way. This golden light is gently easing its way around your brain now, seeping into and filling every single wrinkle and crinkle. The warm rays coating the outside of your mind with a shield of belief and self-confidence, creating an impenetrable force field of positive energy that repels all negative thoughts and self-doubt. And as this soothing, healing ball of golden light engulfs your shoulders and the top of your spine, you can feel that comforting glow of relaxation and positivity 
moving downwards, seeping into the muscles at the top of your neck, gently straightening and stretching every sinew and every fiber there, just easing out all of that tension and tightness so that your body reaches its full, natural and comfortable length. Moving downwards now, that wonderfully warm light, gently massaging your shoulders, circling your chest and torso, traveling down through your hips and legs, bringing the tired muscles in those tight thighs, tight hamstrings and tight calves back to life. All the individual strands and fibers loosening and untangling. Your whole body now totally relaxed, as though you are floating on a bed of air. And so now I'd like for you to imagine that you're standing inside your favorite golf club. And it can be any kind of club you want it to be, real or imaginary. Perhaps you're inside the famous Augusta National, surrounded by all the wonderful Masters memorabilia, looking out onto the driveway to a line of vibrant pink, white and yellow azaleas, and manicured magnolia trees swathed in dreamy afternoon sunlight. Or maybe this is your home golf club, a place you know so well and where you feel welcome, comfortable and relaxed. Or perhaps it's a fantasy golf club entirely of your own choice and creation. This is your journey. It's your imagination and it's your choice. And in this clubhouse, at the end of a long, long corridor, is a gate that opens out onto your very own practice area. A comprehensive game improvement skills arena that is exclusively yours to use whenever you wish. It's a special place where nobody else ever goes and nobody else can go but you. A venue where you will have access to every resource you will ever need to accomplish all of your golfing goals. And the real magic of this special practice area is that once you walk through that gate, as soon as you set foot inside, you will instantly become the very best golfing version of yourself and you will instantly be able to feel exactly how you have always wanted to feel as a golfer. Calm, decisive, assured, accomplished, and completely confident in your own ability. Here, in the private sanctuary of your inner self, you will be able to play all the shots you ever need with perfect technique and perfect results. Here, you will never know fear. You will never know self-doubt, uncertainty or indecision. Here, you can only visualize positive outcomes. You'll be able to use the power of your conscious and subconscious and your imagination to feel the perfect moves you want to make in your swing or in your pitching or in your chipping or in your bunker play or in your putting and then take those new techniques confidently and successfully to the golf course. 
Here, you can picture yourself playing a perfect, strategic round of golf, making proper assessments of situations with a clear and level head, selecting the very best options and then playing them perfectly. And here, of course, you can practice with structure and with purpose, based on your considered and insightful observations of your game, or the advice and guidance of your coach. So let's start now by creating an image in your mind of what that perfect practice area might look like. Maybe it's like the range at an exclusive or private country club with the immaculate rich green lush turf and pyramids of gleaming white practice balls. There might be a beautifully contoured short game area with as many different grasses as you can possibly imagine and a large putting green with all kinds of speeds and slopes. Or maybe it's a simple facility, like you'd expect to find at a public or municipal course. Basic, but entirely functional, with everything you need. Or perhaps it's like a modern top golf experience, where you can hit from elevated tees and aim at electronic targets to score points, while you listen to loud pop music and enjoy a constant flow of your favourite snacks, foods and beverages. Or maybe it's something completely different. Again, it's your retreat and your choice. And know that to reach this special place of ultimate game improvement within you, all you need to do is make your way along that corridor. As you walk towards that gate, your spikes nestling or crunching into the carpet, you pass a series of TV screens on the wall. You look closely and you see that each screen is playing a highlights reel of all your greatest golf shots, all your best golfing achievements. And so you stand for a while and watch yourself hitting your very best drives and iron shots. Immense, powerful, controlled and accurate shots. Many of which you'd long ago forgotten. The white ball soaring high into a deep, rich blue sky and landing in the centre of the fairway or the green. And you watch yourself holding long putts and short pressure putts. The ball always on the perfect line, always dropping into the hole at just the right speed. You admire yourself hitting beautifully controlled chip shots that check and spin delightfully on the second bounce and then glide out smoothly to the hole. You watch your best ever bunker shots and pit shots, your best birdies, eagles, and maybe even your holes in one, all playing out in front of you in glorious full colour. And as you stand and watch these highlights of your golfing life for several minutes, you recall all of the emotions you felt and you played each of those special shots at the time. You feel all of that confidence come flooding back. And you hear once again the comments in the background of great shot from your playing partners and friends and the muted congratulations and well played from your defeated opponents. And in this moment, you can't help but be impressed also 
by just how many of these great shots you have hit in your life. And you are overcome with a sudden burst of reassurance, knowing that you have all the natural talent and ability, all the skills you need to play great golf. And as you continue walking, just in front of you, only a few paces ahead, you notice that there are some large screens where the images haven't yet fully formed. You pause momentarily, trying to make out the detail. But right now, these movies and videos are just swirling, blurred, masses of moving colour. And you realise that these are all of your future golfing achievements. And even bigger and better successes to come in their very early stages. Still taking shape. And you realise now that to complete those images and bring them to life in glorious full focus colour all you need to do is make your way to your special practice area where you can devote your full attention to your future improvement right now. And as you turn to continue towards that gate you catch sight of a reflection of yourself in the glass of one of the screens and you have a sense that something has already changed inside you. Maybe you're standing a little taller and prouder with your head held higher. Perhaps there's a proud or confident smile spreading across your face. Or maybe there's a glint of happiness, achievement, or a new look of determination in your eyes. An aura of joy that you recognise. Or maybe it's the satisfaction that comes from knowing that natural ability combined with commitment and motivation is the true secret to success in sport. Or it might be the realisation that every incredible sporting achievement in history started as a simple, single thought. And that is both humbling and also inspiring, is it not? And you should embrace this feeling, for this really is an amazing life-changing moment right now because your journey from this point on will always be forwards and that's because positive action and positive change are never stationary they are constantly moving and flowing accelerating and gathering momentum like the snowball that grows larger and larger as it rolls faster and faster down a steep hill, eventually becoming so overwhelmingly powerful that it smashes every obstacle in its path. So in this very moment now, as your mind continues to become calmer, and karma, as blissfully serene as a mill pond on a still and warm summer's afternoon. You can make the decision of your own free will to choose all of your thoughts with the utmost care. And with that in mind, you turn and float as if on air along that corridor towards that unique and personal practice arena. That arena where you will find all the tools and all the resources you need for your future golf success. 
for in the privacy of your subconscious range, your potential is unlimited. You can plan, create, visualize, and rehearse the golfer you want to become. The golfer that you are, in fact, already becoming. And as you stand there now in front of the gate, you trace your hand across the steel frame. The metal feels cool and smooth to the touch as your fingertips absorb all the subtle changes in the texture of the grain as they glide towards the key that protrudes from the lock. One simple clockwise turn of that key is all that is needed to grant you access to your private practice sanctuary. And to turn that key and to unlock the gate, all you have to do is use the power of your mind. From this moment on, you will never again have to unlock this gate, for this arena will always be open to you, ready to access whenever you so desire it. Accessible simply by calming your mind, closing your eyes, controlling your breathing, and allowing your imagination to roam free. And as you walk in through the gate, closing it firmly behind you, a world of pure golfing wonderment spreads out in front of you now. This is your perfect practice arena. Your own game improvement mission control room. Where you orchestrate the future development of your game. Like a skilled conductor. Or like a record producer. Who takes all of the individual elements of a track. And blends them together. To create a finished musical masterpiece. And remember. This practice area can be anything you want it to be. You may already have a vivid picture in your mind of how it looks and feels. Or you may want to start creating your perfect environment from scratch right now. Taking the time to get everything just right. And now in these idyllic and optimum surroundings. Find a place where you can get comfortable. Perhaps a small bench at the back of the range. And as you sit there, with the late afternoon sunlight catching the side of your face, and the aroma of freshly cut grass floating on the gentle breeze, you can once again let your mind slowly quieten to create a tranquil sense of inner calm. All of those lingering and distracting thoughts simply drifting away now, leaving you with only positivity, clarity and focus. For in this special place that you can now access at any time, whenever you so wish, your conscious and unconscious mind come together to help you focus on what you truly, deeply want to achieve. And just as the stars and the universe sometimes align and provide a stage for all kinds of amazing opportunities and possibilities. So this new inner harmony will leverage all of your immense powers and resources to create a future of exciting, positive outcomes.
And so now is absolutely the right time to start priming your mind with all the positive choices, thoughts and imagery needed to create the solutions for playing your very best golf. Because in this special place where your success is guaranteed and inevitable, you can allow your mind to drift ahead to the future to contemplate what that golfing success will look like for you. And the planting of the seeds to that success starts right now, in this very moment. Because your journey to change starts here. In fact, it has already started. From the very moment you committed to listen to this track. From the moment you decided you wanted to instigate change. Your powerful, subconscious mind has been exploring new avenues of opportunity. Rewiring your brain and creating exciting new neurological pathways. In order to help you achieve the success you desire. So as you know, and as I know, even the most powerful supercomputer is only as good as the data it processes and the programs it runs. So while you continue to relax, and as you begin to enter that place deep within your higher self, that realm of thinking where everything is possible and where there are no limits to what you can achieve if you truly want it. You can start to enter that data now by focusing with as much detail as possible on identifying your ultimate game improvement goal for the future. Your biggest goal, your most audacious goal, the golfing achievement that will make you the most proud. The goal that will most impress your friends or your family or your golfing rivals. And in making this decision, in setting this grand goal or grand vision, you can be confident that you truly are priming your conscious and subconscious mind to achieve this success. Your deeper self will now start to explore all the avenues and possibilities that will lead to that desired outcome. And sometimes those might be seemingly small, mundane, practical actions, because your brain knows that sometimes you have to follow a path of small steps in order to complete the bigger journey. And so you can expect to find yourself taking some unexpected actions or decisions over the coming days and weeks as your internal supercomputer that is always on and always powered up and always working 24 seven for your benefit starts to identify new thoughts, new ideas, and new actions. Of course, I don't know if your goal is a specific score you want to achieve, a tournament or competition you want to win, a troublesome or difficult shot that you want to master, or whether it's negative visualization or damaging self-talk that you want to eliminate. Or even if it's something completely different, like simply being able to enjoy your golf again. That of course is for you to know and for you to decide. But now is the time to draw your conscious and subconscious attention to achieving the goal 
that will start to transform your game. And so, wherever you are right now on your journey towards your big golfing goal, whatever that may be, I would like you to rank your current performance on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being as low as it possibly can get, and 10 being the best it possibly can be. And in the future, you can always apply this scoring to any element of your game you want to work on. From your progress in achieving your long-term goal, to the quality of your putting, or chipping, or full swing, to your course management, to your thinking, and more. Now a question you might want to ask yourself now, a very powerful question that is very often the first step in creating life-changing behaviour and in breaking barriers of performance. And that is, what would be the first thing you would notice different about yourself if you woke up tomorrow and, miraculously overnight, you had achieved your golfing goal. What would be the very first thing upon waking and opening your eyes that showed you things were different? How would you notice you had changed as a golfer? Would that change be an instant recognition that you now have more self-confidence? Would you wake up feeling more excited or energetic? Or with a greater sense of purpose and direction? Would your thoughts be more positive? Would you be visualising successful outcomes? Would you wake up and see a line of trophies on your mantelpiece? My voice will leave you now while you ponder this question. And when it returns in a short while, you will continue to be deeply relaxed and you will be aware that you already have started to sow the seeds for new positive, life-changing and game-changing behaviours. And so the question one more time. What would be the first thing you would notice different about yourself? If you woke up tomorrow morning, and miraculously overnight, your future success had already been achieved, and your biggest golfing goal had been realised, what would be the very first thing, upon waking and opening your eyes, that showed you that things were different? Now, I'd just like you to think about what else would be different. And what would that change in your game? And now, what small thing or series of things can you see yourself doing or what actions can you see yourself taking that will help you move towards achieving your fantastic new goal? And so, as you embark on your journey towards a golfing life filled with success, I'd like you to remember that you can ask yourself this question at any time, and it will always prompt your subconscious and your deeper self 
to seek out new answers and new solutions. And now, the wonder of this personal and private practice facility that you have created in your mind here is that it allows you to always see the very best, optimum golfing version of yourself. And as you continue to watch from the comfort of that bench, the sunlight casting a golden hue across the driving range, with the temperature just right for hitting balls, you can look out upon yourself practicing and performing at your very, very best. You can watch yourself hitting all the shots you want to play with controlled precision, knowing that you have the absolute best seat in the house, a ringside view for this high quality, full color movie with you as the star performer holding the stage, unable to put a foot wrong. And as you watch yourself hitting whichever shot you choose to focus on, you're seeing and feeling all of the little subtle movements in your hands and body. You hear the solid thud as the club strikes the earth on a full iron shot, or the crisp ping of impact from a putt struck out of the sweet spot, or the smack of a perfect splash shot from a bunker, as you feel the grains of sand landing on your hands and arms, as the ball settles next to the flag. You're seeing yourself in full action now. And in this third person viewing mode, where you watch your optimum version of you performing at the very highest levels of your game, you can take notice of and absorb everything that happens when you play all these shots with full commitment and flawless perfection. And when you manage your emotions and control your nerves in such a professional way when you perform in competition in your desired peak state. And you may also be surprised to see yourself demonstrating so adeptly and so confidently so many new skills and new techniques. Even those that you have for such a long time tried to master. And those new techniques seem to come to you so naturally and instinctively now with the realization that without negative self-talk and without negative imagery to impede you, you really can play any shot with full confidence and authority. Almost as though you have downloaded a masterclass in golf technique to the hard drive in your brain and you can now play any shot at will. Fades, draws, high shots, low shots, punch shots, lob shots, low running chips. Every shot you now have in your repertoire. And it's amazing to see the effect that being able to play any shot with extreme competency has on your demeanor and your body language. You can see that look of satisfied accomplishment and joy on your face as you perform at your very best level, as you stand tall and proud and confident, self-assured, knowing that there is nothing now in the game to daunt you. 
and take a moment now to analyse and remember what your peak performance state right here looks and feels like. And hold it now in your memory for you to recall as often as you like. Because you'll soon come to see yourself and associate those expressions with playing your very best golf. This is the enhanced peak state that you will now take to the golf course every time you play. Every time you walk to the first tee. You will no longer be apprehensive of that opening tee shot. But instead you will relish the opportunity to show to your playing partners and competitors how confident and assured you are in this situation. How you are expecting a great opening tee shot. But you will also be realistic and mindful that bad shots do happen, even for the world's very best golfers. But that you now have the composure and mental resilience to accept those shots and bounce back from those adversities and go on to achieve even more success. And so now, as you continue to visualize yourself in your optimum performance mode, in just a moment, I'm going to count you down from five to one. And when we reach one, you are going to step right into this bright, vibrant, and vivid picture of yourself in your peak golfing state and take on that full, high-performing persona for yourself. Making that image nice and bright now. And so, five, four, three, two, and one. You're instantly stepping into your own visualized best self. And so you can now feel for yourself all of those incredible sensations and body movements that just a moment ago you were watching and witnessing from the outside. Now you can feel these movements and sensations in your own hands and in your own body for real as you swing, pitch, chip, splash or putt. And so now, pay close attention to what you see and to what you feel and to what you hear as you merge into your very best golfing self. Whether that's the sunlight and a gentle wind falling on your face, or the aroma of freshly cut grass, or the sight of the flag gently fluttering on the breeze in the distance, or the chirping of the birds in the nearby trees. Bring all of these senses to life now as you continue to hit whatever shot you like with complete confidence, with complete control, with complete power, or with complete finesse. And fully absorb those sensations of movement and technique and of rhythm and of balance and of poise and think to yourself how incredibly good it feels to see and feel yourself swinging or putting exactly how you want to. Because the total mastery of your own skills and the self-belief and confidence that accompanies your ability now closely matches those of an elite, highly skilled golfer. 
And if there are any swing thoughts, or feels, or sensations associated with the shot, or the shots you are playing, just reinforce those images or patterns in your mind now. Taking a mental snapshot of everything surrounding those great shots. From the congratulations of your playing partners, to your own positive self-talk. As you soak up all of your new motivation and self-belief and confidence. Grooving and reinforcing that winner's mindset and committing now to playing every shot going forwards with full conviction. Because you should know and remember that your best shot is always your most committed shot and your best shot is always your most creative shot and that your most powerful shot is always your most accurate shot. And this new robust and unshakable belief in your guaranteed golfing performance feels so incredibly good because all of your new skills and your new attitude are already being hardwired into your neurology into your muscles into your whole body and into your mind now and so every time you practice now you're moving forwards and making progress continually refining and enhancing your skills and also adopting a true golf champion's mindset of always looking for improvement and in planning and orchestrating your future success. Like a successful entrepreneur who creates and follows a detailed business plan, all the while anchoring that plan to your new technical excellence and confidence. And it feels so amazingly thrilling, exhilarating and satisfying to see yourself enjoying performing in your ultimate peak states and succeeding, shooting lower scores than you previously thought possible, maybe even winning tournaments and events and competitions. All the while knowing that this success is becoming embedded into the neurological pathways of your conscious and subconscious mind. Subliminally programming you to repeat your peak performances. Time. After time. After time. Your mind and your body now perfectly aligned and in sync with your commitment to playing and practicing and preparing to perform at your ultimate level. And the truly wonderful thing is that you can use the visualization elements of this self-hypnosis session to refine and to enhance any part of your game, knowing that you will continually be rewiring your brain for future success and improvement. That these amazing changes will grow in momentum, the snowball effect making you better and better and better in whatever area you focus on. Going forward now, every time you practice this session of positive visualization self-hypnosis, 
you will permanently be reprogramming and aligning your deepest and most powerful internal resources. Integrating these new feels and thoughts and sensations and unquestionably accepting these incredible new changes into your conscious and subconscious awareness. Because you know now, with absolute 100% certainty, that tomorrow you will continue to see and feel yourself better. Better than you were yesterday yet not quite as good as you will be in the very near future. And what an exciting prospect that is, visualizing yourself at your very best each and every time. And now, as we conclude this self-hypnosis session, you have the option of coming out of trance and continuing the rest of your day. Or if you have been listening to this audio before bedtime, you can elect to continue and drift into a deep and wonderful sleep. Either way, your subconscious mind will process and digest today's content in exactly the same way. So if you choose to sleep, just wait for a few moments. Well, if you are ready to return to your day now, simply open your eyes in your own time and you're fully awake, refreshed, rejuvenated and alert. And now, if you want to continue to sleep, just allow me to count you down from five to one to send you on your journey into a night of amazingly refreshing slumber. And so five, your mind quiet and at peace now as you embrace the timeless sensation of being only in the present, free from the burden of looking to the past or the future. Knowing also that good quality sleep is an integral component of sporting excellence, not only for its revitalizing and recovery processes on the body, but in ensuring that you can make good decisions and assessments in your journey to becoming a better golfer. And four, your whole body now completely relaxed and refreshed. All those little aches and pains, softened and fully healed. And three, that delightful sense of calm washing over your entire sense of being, from head to toe. Your body and mind as one, coming together now to relax and recharge. And two, that heavy feeling of your body now, just merging into your bed, or into your chair, your head, your back, your arms, and your legs. Blending into that mattress, or those cushions. And one. Fully prepared now for a night of powerful, restorative and healing sleep. May the momentum of positive change continue to awaken 
and guide you in your future journey. With my very best regards, Nick. <laughs>